The Tennessee Aquarium is credited by many with the renaissance of Chattanooga. Having learned the history behind the institution, I spoke with government and business leaders about the impact it has on the city. So first of all, thank you for being here. And second of all, congratulations on Thank you. the election. Thank you. Appreciate it. Back when the aquarium was being conceived and constructed, what, what did you think about this major renovation to the riverfront? Well, back then I was in junior high and I knew that people were talking about building this aquarium and had a very little idea what it meant. I knew that it was controversial. I heard my parents talking about it. Um, and, but I don't think any of us certainly had an idea of the transformational impact that the aquarium would have on our city. It's an impact that's hard to overstate. We would not be here today with this great city if it had not been for the opening of the Tennessee Aquarium. A recent economic impact study showed that um, over the last 25 years, $3.3 billion in economic impact. That's just from people who said they came to Chattanooga primarily because of the Tennessee Aquarium. $3.3 billion. And then that doesn't count the $5 billion that they estimate has been spent on capital investments in and around the aquarium since we opened. Tourism spurs the economy. It creates jobs. Those are jobs in hotels and restaurants. It also makes our city more vibrant. When you have more people walking around, it's, a, it's an enjoyable place to be. And that, again, turns around and makes people feel more comfortable about opening whatever business they have in Chattanooga. The direct economic impact, over a billion dollars with at least $12 million per year going straight to the school system. Part of the reason for the aquarium's success is constant change. Different exhibits are added to ensure there's always something new for guests to see. I'm one of the original subscribers, one of the original members, a charter member of the aquarium, and I keep my membership up because I love to see new things like the, the lemur forest and all that. I'm just getting to see it for the first time this morning. As few people have ever seen a lemur. Uh, I've had taking people behind the scenes to every once in a while and I've had everybody from a 18 month old to a 93 year old and the 93 year old was as excited about it as the 18 month old. I mean he was like a kid back there. Aquarium leaders say education plays a key role and they'll continue to focus on it in the future. We're always looking for the greatest new exhibits. We're looking at technology, uh, education. You know we have thousands of school kids that come through the aquarium every year and we want to make sure that our programs in science and education are the best available and that we're teaching them uh, with the latest technology and latest teaching methods and, and so they learn about science. Well, it's, it's tempting now to say that the aquarium was just an obvious thing, but it was actually hard work of a lot of people with great foresight and we have to really pay homage to the people who made this made this happen. Jacob Henson, News 12 Now.